शारदा शारदा भोजवदना वदनाबुजे सर्वदा सर्वदा अस्माक सन्निधि सन्निधि क्रिया श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंकोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम भारती करुणा पात्र भारती पदभूषण भारती पदमारूढ़ भारती तीर्थमाश्रिए विद्यानय संपन्न वीतरागम विवेकिन वंदे वेदातम विधुशेखर भारती अस्मदुरचरणारविंद साष्टांग प्रणामा समर्पयाम नमस्ते एवरीवन नमस्ते शारदा दिस इज इंडीड ग्रेट ऑपॉर्चुनिटी टू have been given the topic of stri dharma to be shared with all guru bandhavas across the globe at the occasion of param pooja sanidhanam's vardhanti mahotsav sandarbha we have been discussing about uh, dharma foundations of dharma uh, the health aspects of any indi- individual generally uh, and things like that what we have covered the relationship between food and uh, health uh, what kind of routine should we follow etc etc in all these lectures starting from quite a few months uh, regularly and a um, lot of uh, many 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 scholars have spoken wonderfully about in, in detail about foundations of dharma uh, in this yuva bharati channel today's topic is going to be uh, stri dharma i was asked to speak on stri dharma i will uh, try to sort of uh, speak to the point because stri dharma comprises of a uh, lot of uh, information to be shared uh, so i will uh, i i might not be going into too much of detailing uh, with respect to any of the question if i when i'm answering uh, but um, i will try to cover the uh, best and uh, give you a complete gist of what stri dharma is as what is been referred to in the shastra as well as uh, applying to uh, the present day um, world hmm. so what we understand about dharma is dharmo vishvasya jagatah pratishtha is what we have learned till today and so when it says dharmo vishvasya jagat of pratishtha the entire jagat is controlled and is uh, sort of held by dharma so dharma basically holds everyone together and that is the basic regulator and controller okay and if uh, if that is the primary controller uh, which is established uh, in the jagat uh which gives sukha to one and all and also helps you to attain moksha all of us fall in the same plane so all living beings so jagat of pratishtha means 
everything comes uh, within that framework right from uh, plants to animals to uh, manushya prani purusha stri anybody raja bhikshu every everybody so what we now have to understand is if dharma is encompassing everyone so there has to be and there is dharma which is prescribed specifically for each one of us that is depending on the varana and ashrama etc etc dharma has been prescribed to one and all okay so so stri also uh, since she is a part of dharma she also has a role to play is what uh, we will come to know about it today okay so um, as we know i will not speak much but i will allow questions to sort of follow and i will go on answering those questions which would probably bring in more clarity and understanding the topic of stri dharma so let me start with the first question we have bhaginis today uh, who have joined uh, who are all karyakartas of shankar seva bharati i welcome all bhaginis to this uh, auspicious program swagatam um may i ask uh, uh, each one of you to ask a, a question so that i can go on answering uh, hari om doctor uh, thank you for this uh, wonderful uh, and thoughtful uh, insight of getting uh, what is what is there in our uh, dharma like primarily as you said sri dharma so uh it will be really a guideline for us uh to follow if you put more insight on this uh, sri dharma and uh, what and all is prescribed in the shastra according to the shastras so it which helps us to uh, follow um uh, so can you please repeat your question um can you specify your question please means uh, what is there uh, exactly in, uh, in stri dharma what does it mean acha so more, i need more insight like i have heard the term stri dharma but uh, if you put exactly what uh, code of conduct is prescribed for uh, as people okay so let me start with uh, answering just the main topic uh, in your question uh, which says stri dharma okay now um, you see let us understand there are two words here stri and dharma okay let us understand as to what stri means okay um stri is defined as stiyati garbhah asyam stiyati garbhah asyam so that is she is she is the one who holds the garbha and delivers okay that is why she is called stri okay um referring to this i am sure all our minds will now go to lalita sahasranama and the very first nama in lalita sahasranama is shri mata okay so when it comes to shri mata she is the one she is called shri mata only because she has delivered okay that is she holds a garbha okay and through the garbha she delivers so what is it that she has delivered it is the entire jagat okay that is why she is called uh, parabrahma swarupini and uh, the jagat which has been created by her okay similarly so she is called stri because she holds the garbha okay so there is the capability and all the uh, the paraphernalia the faculty to hold a garbha and deliver that is why she is called stri and uh, coming to dharma 
you see it says dhriyate anena iti dharma okay dhriyate is that which holds which which i have told you earlier and in ayurveda specifically there is a definition which says dharanat dharma sach atma samaveta karya darshananumeya okay it says dharana dharma sach atma samaveta karya darshananumeya so what does it mean dharana dharma it does the dharana or which holds okay so it is the dharma which holds the the person or the individual okay now how do i know that that particular thing uh, what is holding on to is the dharma which is holding the individual okay how do i understand that dharma is holding an individual or it is controlling the individual so ayurveda says karya darshananumeya so that is you will understand if the individual is following dharma or not through the kind of action and the result that he uh, experiences okay so if he is following the kind of uh, conduct that is that has been prescribed in the shastra then it means that he or she is following dharma and he will obviously get sukha from it if not it is adharma and it is papa or dukha coming out of it okay so specifically stri dharma means referring to a stri following her dharma what has been prescribed in the shastra okay this is what is stri dharma is all about okay this is a very concise way of uh, uh, explaining so if you just go on stri dharma doesn't only mean uh, very little so she uh, being a mother being a daughter being a queen uh, you know so so many roles that she plays uh, a sadhaka a sadhaki okay so so many roles that she plays so each one of it has its own dharma she has to play her role with respect to that particular dharma when she is in that particular stage okay so we see that uh, lopa mudra played a very strong role a vital role uh, you know with agastya maharshi so similarly uh, arundhati and vasishtha okay so like this each one of them all strees have played a very 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 great role we know uh, rani padmini uh, you know in our history who played Uh, raja dharma you know during uh, war and all that so each one of them have exhibited the right kind of dharma as per the prescribed conduct which has been told in the shastra so this is what is basically a gist of what stri dharma is about she, what she whatever she has to follow according to uh, the shastra this is stri dharma okay next question please namaste doctor so uh, my dharma being a grihini i understand that i have a great responsibility in the harmony and well being of my family to maintain the balance in my family so um, how does grihini griha muchyate fit in today's topic of uh, discussion uh, stri dharma um uh, in another in other words what does it mean by grihini griha mukchate very nice a very very apt question asked bhagini uh, so as i told you um in fact in ayurveda there is a grantha called ashtanga sangraha so it says how if you protect a stri she will protect the entire universe okay if stri is protected she protects everyone okay that is strihi moolam apatyanam strihi rakshati rakshita okay i will repeat the uh, shloka again 
ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಮೂಲ ಮಪತ್ಯಾಂ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ರಕ್ಷತಿ ರಕ್ಷಿತ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೋ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಕನ್ವೇಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಏಸ್ ಅಪತ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಜನಿ ಅಪತ್ಯಂ ಅಪತ್ಯಂ ಪುಮಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಸೊ ಅಪತ್ಯಂ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಜನಿ ಸೊ ಹೂ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಮೂಲ ಅಪತ್ಯಾಂ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ರಕ್ಷತಿ ರಕ್ಷಿತ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಯು ಸಿ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಜಗತ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾತಾ ಓಕೆ so the it exists only because there was uh, ambal uh, sharda amba present there as parabrahma swarupini if she would not have been there this entire jagat would not have existed at all today so similarly even a manushya stri what happens is if she is not there we all know uh, shiva shaktiya yukto yadi bhavate shakta prabhavitum ನಚೇ ದೇವಂದೇವೋ ನಖಲ ಕುಶಲ ಸ್ಪಂದಿತುಮಿ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ದ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಗರ್ಭ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಫ್ ಅ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ಡ್ ಅ ಬೇಬಿ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಶಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ uh whatever requirement to deliver if it was not there then what would have been happened okay what what it means is the entire universe wouldn't have existed at all there wouldn't be any any uh, you know manushya prani at all or any prani at all okay so the the vakya of grihani grihamuchyate comes actually this particular uh, phrase grihini grihamuchyate is in shakuntala so there what uh, uh, the phrase is like this uh, what is that um, na griham grihamuchyate okay na griham grihamuchyate grihini grihamuchyate so this such a beautiful thing that it says na griham grihamuchyate grihini grihamuchyate actually what is a griham it says in sanskritam uh, grinhati dhanyadikam grinhati dhanyadikam so that which receives lot of uh, grain and uh, grocery etc etc is griham but why is it required only because there is a grihini so the word griha doesn't have any swatantra independent existence the griha exists only because of grihini so na griham griham uchyate grihini griham uchyate only because she is there and she being a shri mata swarupini of shri mata she follows her dharma of a stri gives birth to progeny okay there is progeny and then there is a family and then there is an entire rashtra or a nation okay you know what i'm talking about so a single stri has you know what gives birth to say five or 10 children okay so you should remember that the, she gives birth to both male children and female children so those female children also will be capable enough to deliver more children isn't it isn't it okay so what does it mean it is like a tree having lot of fruits and those fruits have lot of trees in the form of seeds already you know what i'm saying so it is an infinite cycle and the and the entire energy to procreate an entire universe as what uh, is there in her so the the phrase grihini grihamuchyate comes with the capability of her giving uh, a progeny to the entire universe that is how she is called grihini grihamuchyate amma you have to let me know if you have not understood i can uh, simplify 
and uh, if it is if it suffices then uh, i will move on to the next question yeah, it is pretty clear doctor thank you next question please namaste doctor yes amma namaste doctor uh, now we got to know the importance of stree dharma actually and uh, we got to know the stree's uh, important role in molding a family and also a society and a nation when it comes to a bigger perspective so in order to execute such a responsible role her well being is also very important so uh, is there any connection between physical mental and emotional well being of a stri to that of the dharma that she follows very very beautiful question uh, quite elaborate and uh, deep uh, uh, question um yes so you see if what we just came to know is that if there are if there is no stree then there is no population and if there is no population there is no kutumba or there is no dharma so if dharma has to do its duty then as a part of dharma she which uh, who plays a very pivotal role in bringing harmony and uh, peace and happiness she certainly has to be physically emotionally and mentally uh, in a in a kind of a balanced uh, equilibrium state okay state of equilibrium that is what is called as health in fact uh, uh, in ayurveda it specifically uh, says शरीरेन्द्रिय सत्वात्मा संयोग जीवित विच अप्लाइज टू एनी बडी विथ इट इज स्त्री और पुरुष सो एंड वी हेव जस्ट कम अक्रॉस अ फ्रेज विच से स्त्रीषु लोका प्रतिष्ठिता सो इट इज वॉट डज इट मीन सो लोका हियर मीन्स ऑल जन लोका मीन्स जन ओके सो दे आर बेसिकली प्रेजेंट इन हर ओके नौ इफ she has to be sound and the reason why she has to be very sound uh, physically mentally and emotionally is you see unlike purusha where a purusha attains a natural uh, progression of childhood adolescence uh, youth and middle age and vardhakya stri also passes through the same but there are a few special important vital stages that she passes through that is there is something called as rajo darshana rajo darshana is when the stree attains menarche the first menstruation that she uh, attains okay that is rajo darshana raja means menstruation darshana is uh, you know experiencing okay that is rajodarshan next is vivaha after vivaha it is garbha vivaha might be common for both purusha and stri but rajodarshana is not common it is only specifically for stri and garbha that is third is garbha fourth is prasuti garbha i am sure everybody knows what is garbha okay so when she becomes pregnant okay prasuti is when she delivers okay prasuti is when she delivers and after that there is rajo nivritti rajo nivritti as i told you if it is rajo darshana it is menarche and if it is rajo nivritti it is menopause okay now this span of around uh, what to say between 12 years of age to um 50 years of age is when she carries out all these uh, faculties in her in order to facilitate progeny and uh, if that is so then she has to follow 
her stree dharma with respect to maintaining uh, the rajaswala dharma the prasuti dharma garbhini dharma etc etc huh? okay in detail what has been prescribed so she has to follow her stree dharma which encompasses so all these dharmas which i told you during rajodarshana uh, during vivaha during garbhadhana during prasava and rajonivrti all these put together form uh, a very vital uh, role of a stri following her stri dharma okay uh, next question please namaste dada so it is good to know that there is connection between emotional physical and mental well being of a stri on following her dharma so next next question is what exactly is, is rajaswala dharma and how should one stri follow rajaswala dharma okay um i can uh, i i hope uh, you all know what basic uh, uh, basic dharma to be followed during uh, uh, rajaswala kala uh, but at the same time um if there is a question pertaining to what is the dharma that has to be followed during this period so i also have to understand that uh, it's a bad time that we have probably been here in the sense the present day generation has to be taught or they have to be informed about uh, what exactly is rajaswala dharma because it when you are asking a question it also means that there are a lot of people who have not been following rajaswala dharma and who have totally forgotten so i take this opportunity to explain uh, to you uh, <laughs> what uh, what is rajaswala dharma is to be followed okay so in in ayurveda um, it says masi masi rajastrinam rajasam sravate triham वत्सरा द्वादशादूर्धति पंचाशत क्षय मसी मसी रज स्त्रीण रजस स्रवती त्र्यह वत्सरा द्वादशादूर्धति पंचाशत क्षय दट इज मसी मसी रज स्त्रीण स्रवती रजस स्रवती दट इज एव्री मंथ फ्रम दि टाइम ऑफ रजो दर्शन दट इज मेनारखी Uh, that is puberty the there is a flow of blood which is called as menstrual flow that happens every month okay rajam rajasam sravati okay and uh, when does it start it starts uh, around the 12th uh, year of uh, uh, person's age and stays till about 50 years okay so between 12 and 50 so this is the natural uh, uh, you know process so what is so important to know about the kind of dharma that has to be followed during this particular period of say menstruation that is every month what is it that the rajaswala has to be has to follow why is it so important to know about this okay you see we all know that when uh, when a stree is uh, having uh, is a rajaswala that is when she is menstruating it means that there was a need there is a particular faculty in a stree where she prepares herself to conceive okay and for any reason that she doesn't conceive then that particular physiological process which was ready to facilitate conception now doesn't have any work okay because it doesn't have any work bhagwan has arranged such a beautiful uh, process that it has it becomes very impure and it becomes uh, uh, impotent that is that particular uh, faculty loses its potency 
so it has to be cleared out it has to be evacuated okay it has to be cleared so the the way how the endometrium uh, in in uh, medical terminology is what actually flows out okay in the form of menstruation menstrual flow now that part of endometrium starts flowing out for three continuous days okay and uh, that is what is called as uh, rajasrava that is rajaswala or rajasam sravati rajasrava okay uh, you is a very interesting thing that uh, when you say rajas why is it why has it been termed as rajas why not something else okay so if you go to bhagavad gita rajo ragatmakam vidhi trishna sanga samudbhavam is what bhagavan says that is rajo ragatmakam wherever there is raga there is ichha okay because there was an ichha uh, to conceive it came in and because it was not facilitated that rajas because it has not been satisfied uh, with the faculty of conception that starts flowing out okay getting ready again to see if there is going to be conception okay so this is the uh, beautiful understanding here why it has been called rajas okay so during this time shastra prescribes very 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 stringent rules and a strong regimen uh, to be followed uh like uh, i will i will sort of name a few which are very very important okay first and foremost thing is uh stri is not supposed to have bath for those three days in fact traham is there so in veda there is a, a thing where it says three nights okay so three nights or three days okay so people ask us uh doctor can we have only uh, so what is that body wash or sponge bath uh, etc etc no uh, shastras very strictly contraindicates any kind of um, applying or sh- taking a shower with water whether it is cold or hot okay so you are not supposed to take bath at all okay that is one when you have not taken bath it means you are not shuddha or uh, pure and so you cannot enter uh, as you know it is the impurity that is going out so it becomes very 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 important that this three is prone for any kind of um, you know pollution uh, from outside okay people who come from outside uh, you know inmates of the house etc etc so the second most important thing that she needs to follow during uh, rajaswala kala is complete isolation complete isolation that is she has to isolate herself and not coming in uh, physical contact with anybody whatever whosoever okay so there is no physical contact no touching any uh, anything any other object present around her except her own basic things which are required okay except that no other thing to be touched okay so when this has been prescribed it goes without saying that she doesn't have to enter the kitchen uh, she doesn't have to enter the puja room etc they all go without saying she is not supposed to enter the kitchen she is not supposed to cook absolutely no physical strain at all okay the reason why i am telling you this is you see uh, how do animals uh, uh, pass uh, uh, excreta that is how do the how do the animals pass uh, motion and urine while walking they pass okay irrespective of whether sitting or walking the animals pass urine and motion isn't it you see cows passing urine while they are walking continuously but actually if you have observed that if you see um, in humans that thing is not possible okay humans don't uh, pass urine and motion while walking it is not possible because there is a control in the brain 
immediately which says the moment there is a movement in the body these uh, evacuative procedures come to a halt they stop okay uh, you see if for example if there is a small child uh, bathing in the uh, you know bathroom suppose before the commencement of the, taking the shower if there are two drops of water that falls on the body if the child is passing urine then it immediately stops okay because it's an immediate reflex from the body uh, that says something is falling on my body so there's a temperature difference so the flow of urine stops similarly if these three takes a shower the menstrual flow stops immediately and please remember that this menstrual flow is something that should not stop at all for those 3 days it should completely flow and clear out the entire thing okay this is one thing and uh, shastra this this uh, these are very very basic things okay uh, she is not supposed to beautify herself during uh, menstruation okay why has it been told is um, uh, it's a very simple thing that uh, beautification attracts um, you know people okay uh, particularly the husband so if uh, if anything wrong happens then basically she will not conceive if by any chance if by any chance there is a conception then the the would be baby which is going to be born will have dire consequences and uh, uh, very gory uh, diseases that will uh, you know uh, attack the baby okay and uh, shastra says the baby will never survive even if she conceives okay first two days if at all she conceives on the third day during menstruation then it says it will have worst of the diseases okay so to avoid all this they say no beautification no cosmetics and uh, things like that okay and she is supposed to sort of eat fresh food uh, and uh, hita whatever is good for her not whatever she likes okay this is very very important and uh, lot of it has been told so she is not supposed to cut her nails she is not supposed to cut uh, her hair and things like that so many rules have also been told with respect to following uh, rajasvala dharma she is not supposed to talk very loudly she is not supposed to laugh okay so so many things have been told she is supposed to remain very 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 calm okay that is what it means complete rest uh, no strain no bath fresh food uh, complete isolation okay these are uh, few things which uh, strictly has to be followed during uh, uh, rajasvala dharma next question please namaste vaidhi mahodaya um thank you for explaining in detail about the uh, um, rajasvala dharma for beginners and um, um we clearly know that every uh, detailed steps are the decorum of a menstrual cycle or a menstrual regimen and also we understood that if we follow strict menstrual regimen the results are good for us what happens if a person if a menstruating uh, teenager or a woman fails to uh, observe these decorum or uh, these uh, menstrual regimen are there any ill effects okay i am i am very very happy to sort of uh, hear this question because i feel that somewhere uh, in the corner of your hearts and mind uh, the fear has slowly sort of creeping in and uh, expressing such questions it's good for uh, everyone okay so it's a very very apt question at this at this hour um okay so what happens if you don't follow rajasvala dharma very nice question you see what happens if you follow okay what happens if you follow is she will be able to have a very good progeny which will be following dharma properly okay okay so if she follows her rajasvala dharma stri dharma properly she will be able to conceive right time 
and she will be able to have a good progeny qualitatively the children are going to be very very good okay so we will have what does it mean we will she will have children who are proper dharmishthas okay people who follow dharma so what happens if she has children who follow dharma automatically and obviously they are all going to be very happy because dharma artha kama moksha so she will automatically all children will be sukha there will be sukha for all children so what happens if she doesn't follow rajaswala dharma is first thing if you follow rajaswala dharma it facilitates progeny if you don't follow rajaswala dharma it will not facilitate progeny that is she will start becoming infertile okay so following rajaswala dharma it is going to facilitate fertility not following rajaswala dharma she will become infertile so it is so shocking and scary to know that by not following rajaswala dharma she loses her complete existence as a stri at all i mean completely loses her stritva because why stiyati garbhah asyam it is stri so if she is not able to hold garbha she is no more a stri okay so she loses her identity which is so dangerous and uh, uh, you know the, the the biggest point of du- for dukha for her okay this is one aspect the second aspect is about her own health condition okay you see what happens when you are called a stri the 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 main vital aspect is progeny okay this is why you are called a stri so your health directly depends on how many times you conceive that is what it means okay now if that particular thing is lost then all sorts of diseases will sort of come in the particular faculty of the uterus garbhashaya and its surroundings okay so, so when you don't follow rajaswala dharma so that is if you start uh, walking around if you eat wrong food at the time if you don't follow isolation etc etc the impurity that is being thrown out also carries lot of uh, impurity isn't it toxic matter now that comes in contact with people outside so they will also get uh, affected the indirectly okay and uh, similarly women also stri also gets affected because because she starts moving out pollutants from impurities from outside toxic matter comes into her and she will start having a lot of problems few of the problems which never existed uh, in our ancestors and uh, you know in our grandmothers and great grandmothers where they used to have 10 children 15 children etc here now a days you can very clearly see that uh, many 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 diseases are cropping up uh, in the gynecological uh, fraternity that is in that particular uh, sec- section called uh, pcod that is polycystic ovarian disease okay cervical erosions endometriosis adenomyosis okay thyroid uh, uh, hyperthyroidism diabetes now diabetes thyroid problems all these are please understand connected to rajaswala dharma because they are directly connected to all endocrine systems so it is very 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 important for you to follow otherwise you will have a lot of hormonal uh, disturbances which will in directly act on your mental status and emotional status and uh, uh, you know a ladies say they have gone to depression they have got to, they have gone to psychotic disorders etc etc it is not because of anything else it is just basically because of this okay so these are the dangers that uh, are the outcome of not following rajaswala dharma hmm? next question please namaste doctor uh, the harm that is caused by not following rajaswala dharma is evident now by your detailed explanation i understood mostly the medical implications to so far are there any religious importance uh, attached to the same rajaswala dharma 
fantastic question fantastic question okay so what happens here is um you see uh, when you say religious importance it means uh, what happens to uh, whatever my prarthana or my stotra parayana uh, the puja aspects the naivedyam etc etc you know what happens at home okay so you see devata sannidhya every person does any kind of stotra parayana or puja or whatever it is why because they want some phala there is karma devata karma that we are doing and we obviously expect some phala from bhagavan okay so that's the reason everybody does and remember devata sannidhyam or devata pratishtha wherever there is god there is absolute sanctity and purity and high source of energy okay present so when it is so and if we don't follow rajaswala dharma then we are attracting lot of imbalance between the energies because i will give you an example suppose there is a uh, some kind of a disturbance in our telephone cell phone okay and we want to sort of plug it thinking that it there is no charge okay now if i have to do that then i have to plug it in a way how it has to be plugged okay just because if there is more energy if i go near it plug it in the wrong source what happens is that that kind of pure energy which is there this particular disturbed state of health in a stri will not be right to sort of balance that particular energy okay so she will face a lot of health issues in and around the surroundings of any uh, puja sthala or devata sannidhya okay so that is why specifically it has been told that uh, you are not uh, supposed to Uh, do any kind of parayanas and things like that uh, uh, during uh, rajaswala uh, kala because the mind is disturbed so you cannot focus and you can actually you might uh, you know recite it wrongly and things like that so very strictly it has been prescribed that you are not supposed to uh, do any kind of an activity more so with uh, puja the karmas okay so this is very 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 important nowadays people say just because of the natural process anybody can sort of go to temples also it is absolutely nonsense and absurd so it is not to be followed in the sense you have to be stay put at home and follow rajaswala dharma as prescribed by the shastra next question please namaste doctor thank you for sharing such a profound knowledge uh, about rajaswala dharma as prescribed by vedas and ayurveda as well Uh, it was indeed an eye opener uh, my next question is uh, in uh, the current scenario where uh, we find uh, women uh, finding position in all kinds of uh, walks of life like uh, be it international sports to politics to being in the armed forces serving the nation uh, to varied uh, uh, walks of life that she uh, you know is playing a role in in the in the society how do you how do how can one follow the uh, strict regimen as prescribed uh, in the rajaswala dharma all the more because uh, uh, you know it not only impacts her own uh, uh, well being it also impacts the well being of the society then uh, what are the pros and cons and uh, what is your take on this <laughs> very very tricky uh, and a very sensitive uh, uh, question uh, because i take the standpoint of shastra um, uh, i will certainly stick on to it and answer uh, from the point of shastra though i certainly appreciate the role of uh, stri in today's modern world where she has uh, she has been able to sort of do a uh, lot of things uh, uh, right from climbing mount everest to uh, working in nasa going in a spacecraft and you know uh, being a very good sports woman and all that uh, hats off to all women uh, there uh, but at the same time 
when it comes to uh, woman she has to understand that she doesn't have to compete with any man okay because she is already in the forefront and uh, she plays a very very she has to understand and realize that she basically uh, you know does a very pivotal role in the society and in the family and by herself so without her nothing exists so she has to sort of understand that she is so 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 important okay now uh, having said this um you see in in many 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 developed countries okay like japan and china even today women during their menstruation because however good the uh, however capable uh, the woman is she is after all a woman okay firstly she is a woman okay so any disturbance during this particular menstrual uh, cycle will directly impact her health and her surroundings so what they have done is they have gone to the extent of providing menstrual leave okay menstrual leave because if she is healthy okay um, her family herself her family and the society is going to be healthy as we have discussed till now now i will give you a, a very very uh, beautiful uh, incident what happened in one of the topmost uh, the it companies okay something that i am recollecting now i if i am not wrong it is siemens company okay so it so happened that uh, there was a section where uh, they used to uh, work on integrated circuits okay integrated ic uh, um, integrated circuits okay so they observed that women who used to have menstrual flow or during menstruation the printed uh, the the integrated circuit used to get burnt okay so for those three days they saw that a few of the uh, integrated circuit boards on which they were okay used to get burnt and become defunct okay then after a lot of observation research they found it that those uh, integrated circuits and processors used to get burnt only in the ladies section okay so uh, what actually happens is during that time they produce lot of static electricity okay because of that there is a lot of uh, static electricity that is being uh, distributed and emitted so that is exactly why she is supposed to be taking rest instead what the company did was to ground the chairs of all women that is in the ladies section so once they they are grounded the electricity is passed on to the earth okay so they started working anyway now lot of problems if you see even in army that is the reason that uh, uh, women are not usually given uh, high positions because of the kind of responsibilities and roles that they have to take and during this particular uh, time of uh, menstruation because their emotional psychological status is not very stable so they might be prone for some kind of a, an imbalance and it might harm a lot of things so all said and done i would uh, sincerely urge all women working non working uh, to basically follow few things at least that is to eat fresh food and not stale food uh, and take rest at least for 3 days you can actually compensate those three days on other days and please don't take shower during that time okay and uh, don't try to be physically uh, be don't don't be physically active during that time don't take too much of stress all you have to do is to follow this particular regimen for three days okay the rest of 27 days i am sure you are uh, doing a lot of work and uh, you know so uh, though uh, i respect uh, all strees who are uh, who have been very successful 
I also urge them to follow this as what has been prescribed in the Shastra. Okay, by following, we will ensure health of not only the three uh, of the entire family and the entire country. Okay, uh, by this, I conclude uh, this particular uh, uh, session, uh, the topic of Stri Dharma. I prostrate to Bhaya Jagat Gurus for blessing me this opportunity to uh, speak to all Guru Bandhus and uh, I conclude this session with uh, a prayer. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahavir Jankaravahai Tejasvina Vadhi Tamastuma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti Shanti Shanti